Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chian. Today I'm going to show you how to make creamy coconut milk. Now I'm sharing this recipe because I have an upcoming video for Metemji and homemade coconut milk is one of the ingredients and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first step is to crack open a dry coconut and she's using the back of the knife. That is not the sharp side. And it's essential to get a dry coconut and not the young one that you use for coconut water and jelly. And there you go. Now we're not going to use the coconut water from this one. We, we don't drink the coconut water from the dry coconut. The next thing is to remove the meat on the inside and she's using a small knife which she pry in between the shell and the meat and she's just going to work her way around the coconut until the meat comes loose. I forgot to mention, my mom was back in town for a couple of weeks so of course I had to get her back in front of the camera and I requested MetMG, which she made for us, and that of course requires coconut milk. Now, as you can see, the meat is out of the shell, it is clean, and now she's cutting it up into small pieces before we blend it. You can also use a grater to grate the coconut finely, but you have to use the small side on the grater. Obviously, it's a lot easier to blend it, so we're gonna do it this way. Once all of the coconut is in the blender, you're going to cover it with water and this is just room temperature water. Then I'm going to blend this until it becomes a pulp. And I'm starting it on the food chop setting and then I'm going to switch it over to pulse and just let it do its thing. You guys, I just want you to know that I don't make homemade coconut milk all the time. I do have canned coconut milk. But the fresh does taste better so if you want to take that meal to the next level make it extra special you have some time make the homemade coconut milk it's super super easy and the taste is just amazing now that this is blended the next step is to strain it and we are using a nut milk bag which makes it super easy but you can also use a strainer or also cheesecloth does the job now you want to squeeze all of that finely grated coconut so that you can extract all the milk from the pulp. Now you can do it just this once or you can do it a second or even a third time depending on the recipe and how much coconut milk that you need. Now we did it multiple times because we made it to make metem and while the milk is thinner the second time it's still good. And that's it. That's all it takes to make homemade coconut milk. I like to use this within two to three days. We made this to make metem and that video is coming very soon. That will be the next video up on the channel. So be sure to head on down and subscribe so you do not miss it. Thank you for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.